Hi, I'm Kylie of Kylie of Interiors, blogger, paint color expert, and e-design consultant. Today we're taking a look at Sherwin Wine's White Heron. As you can see, White Heron is a super soft, subtle paint color. That's because it has an LRV of 76. LRV is a number every color has that lets us know how light or dark it is on a scale of 0, which is black, to 100, which is white. So at 76, White Heron is absolutely an off-white paint color, but it is not getting close to the white range. A lot of people say, oh, it's a really soft white. You know, it's got a little bit more depth than that. Now, if you have a really bright room, it is going to wash out like crazy. You are going to lose the color of it. Sometimes this could happen on one wall in a room, and that's okay, because obviously the light changes as the day progresses. But if overall you have super bright light and you want something that shows up to the party a little more, white heron might be a little soft for you. You would want to lower that LRV, probably significantly. Now if you have a very dark room, of course a light color can help it look brighter, but without natural light or without artificial light to really back it up, it's not going to come to life. A color like white heron in a dark room, because it's a neutral without a lot of color to it, can look a little dingy and chalky, so you'll want to be very careful with it if you don't have enough light. Now let's do a bit of comparison. That is the best way to see undertones. Now I do have videos on most of these, so if you like them, you can check them out. Or blog reviews, I have those too. Heron Plume. So Heron Plume is beautiful. You can see it's a bit lighter. They both share a similar undertone, and that's a really subtle taupe. So that's kind of a Let's say it's a gentle purple-pink undertone hiding in there. It's very subtle. Egret White is gorgeous. It has, I believe it's LRVs around 70. Yeah, that makes sense looking at that. So it's got a little bit more weight to it. Also seems to have a little bit more warmth there. But that could just be via the weight of it as they both actually do share the similar taupe purpley-pink undertones. Aesthetic White is a gorgeous off-white beige. So that shows you. So aesthetic white's a beige that leans into gray, so it's a super muted look. It really shows you how much taupe is in there, so it shows you how much gray is in there. Would white heron look like a warm gray in northern light or say afternoon eastern light, morning western light? No, it'll always hold some warmth for sure, whereas some can look a little bit more like a warm gray. It's warm enough it will definitely hold itself as a warm color. If you have south facing light, it'll lean even more into the warmth and I wouldn't be surprised to even see a little wink of cream come up, but I mean that so passively. It's not like you'll get a lot of yellow out of it, just warmer. Because if we compare it to something like white duck, white duck is actually an insanely muted cream with a really soft neutral base to calm it down. It shows us how much taupe is in there. So there's that purple pink undertone. If we go one more level to creamy, if you're looking at warm colors, you might have come across creamy. Again, the degree of yellow in there really shows us the taupe and white heron. If you have finishes in your home that have a green undertone, or maybe you don't know they have a green undertone, once you compare them to white heron, you might see it and they won't be super happy together. You want to be careful of that. Same with finishes that have a creamy look to them. Again, not super hot. So if you want to paint some trims and cabinets, you want to pick the right white. You might also have an existing white. If you have a warm white that's creamy, I would stay away from a color like White Heron because its undertones, that pink in there, is really clashing with the yellow in a color like Alabaster. Pure white's going to sit better. It's all right. It's okay. It works. If you have pure white trim, that'll work. But sometimes the easiest is just to go with white, in which case Sherwin-Williams High Reflective White. See the difference there? This color just comes to life. It's at its best when it's with the right white. Whereas if we go back to pure white, which is fine, I don't know, it just takes a, bit, a little bit of the glory out of white heron. So I would go with High Reflective White if I can start from scratch. There you go, that's White Heron. I hope you visit me on Instagram and thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel.